well, is this video true? That seems to be what everyone wants to know. It seems that I've been appointed by the internet through some sort of crowdsourced, who knows what, movement. But I keep getting tagged in loads and loads of videos all around YouTube. And people have sent me links to external websites as well, asking me to have a look at it and debunk some of the misinformation, in some cases disinformation. So I don't have the time to go and watch all of these and put together fancy presentations and statistics from everywhere else. So I'm just going to do like one take reaction videos. There's going to be a whole load of them coming at you soon. I'm going to watch this and in real time you're going to see my reaction and some of my comments. So let's get going. Hi guys, welcome to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heat. Could someone have warned me beforehand that Meghan Markle is presenting it, English version of Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle's cousin, I don't know. Anyway, sorry, sidetracked already. In this video, heat pumps and electric heating are going head to head as two viable contenders to replace gas central heating. I'll be comparing efficiency, balancing the benefits and looking at all the costs that go into installing and running them. First up, heat pumps. Let's do a quick rundown. Air source heat pumps convert outside air into heat via a unit that's installed to an external wall of your property. Air to water can be used for heating water as well as your home. However, as the heat they produce is cooler than that of your average gas boiler, you may need to install larger radiators or underfloor heating to ensure your home maintains a comfortable temperature. Air to air heat pumps don't heat water, but they can be used as an air conditioning unit. This is super handy since these summers just keep getting warmer. And finally, ground source heat pumps use a network of pipes that are buried in your garden to extract solar energy from the ground. Long story short, if you're limited for space, this type of heat pump is not going to work for you. Well, so far, I agree with everything. It's a pretty reasonable analysis of heat pumps and how they work, but we're not really getting any substantial information so far. However, there are two major caveats when it comes to efficiency, the time of year and how well insulated your property is. Air source heat pumps are naturally going to use more electricity during winter since the air they're converting is colder. Of course, it's going to use more electricity to heat a building in the winter compared to summer. That's going to be the same for electric radiators. That's going to be the same for a gas or an oil boiler. The efficiency of a heat pump may drop slightly, but the difference between winter and summer is no way near as bad as you would expect. Even in winter time, my heat pump still outperforms the efficiency of a gas boiler, and that's not even comparing to electric heaters. Anyway, on to the next claim. Secondly, it's vital your home is well insulated if you want to maximise on efficiency. If not, you'll be waving goodbye to any potential energy savings. Okay, um, this thing about insulation, it gets paraded all the time. At the beginning of the video, you chose to say that we need to upgrade radiators, which is fair, but now you're talking about upgrading insulation. You don't need to do both, okay? So it's about designing for the correct temperature and getting the correct emitters so that your heat pump can run at a low flow temperature. This can be done through one of two methods or a combination of both me methods. You can either upsize your radiators your, or your emitters to be the correct size to run at a low flow temperature or you can increase your insulation levels and not necessarily need to then increase your radiator sizes so maybe pick or choose one of those now let's talk about another low carbon alternative electric heating electric heating is any system that uses electricity as its main energy source there are a range of options available but let's look at two in particular electric radiators and infrared panels now I can see why someone's tagged me in this and sent this video to me. I'll put the link in the description. If you want a thorough breakdown of why infrared panels are a bad idea, I've got a whole video dedicated to that. Um, they're just not the best way to heat a home, apart from very, very niche use cases. They're just not a great, uh, a great idea. Um, using the word efficiency, that you... <sighs> you can zone your home and you can only heat certain rooms and then you're saying that the system is more efficient. It's the wrong use, it's the wrong application of that term. You shouldn't use the word in that way. Actually, what you're talking about is reducing consumption, not increasing efficiency. And they, they are different things. A major benefit of electric heating is that it's 100% efficient at point of use. There are no system losses as every unit of electricity is converted into usable heat. 
this is great. We know that electric heating is 100% efficient, but we also know that heat pumps are 400% efficient. So let's get back to the comparison, shall we? So now we know the difference between heat pumps and electric heaters, the real burning question is how much do they cost? One of the biggest drawbacks of heat pumps is the price of installation. Air source heat pumps are the most affordable option of the two, although still expensive, with costs averaging between seven and 14,000 pounds. Okay, let's just quickly pick up on this point. Average installation cost at the moment, there's the bus grant in the UK that discounts seven and a half thousand pounds off the average installation cost, which at the moment is 12 and a half grand before you include the grant. So to a homeowner, the average cost would be five grand. On top of that, depending on your mortgage uh, provider and lots of other things, you may be eligible to an additional £2,000 cash back through some of their green initiatives, Barclays, etc. are doing that. So many people could have a heat pump installed for £3,000 or less. Um, so these figures may be a bit disingenuous at the moment, but I admit that at the moment we have grants and other schemes that are actually kind of masking the true cost of these systems. They are expensive, but to the end user, they're not as expensive as is portrayed here right now. Whereas ground source heat pumps could set you back between 15 and 35,000 pounds. They're really obsessed with talking about ground source heat pumps. Ground source heat pumps are quickly becoming irrelevant. Um, they used to be a lot more efficient than air source heat pumps. Now we're seeing that air source heat pumps are basically matching the efficiency of ground source heat pumps. And most people just don't want to go to the additional lengths to lay out this capital that they'll never see a return on. So I'm not really sure why they're even bothering to talk about ground source heat pumps. With electric heating, installation costs are far more accessible. Typically, it costs between 400 to 800 pounds to remove a gas boiler system. Add that to installer fees and a water heater and you're looking at about 4,000 to 6,000 pounds in total for an electric heating system. So all we're finding out here is that the average installation cost on an electric direct electric heating system are the same as what you would pay for installing a heat pump, but it's going to cost you four times as much to run. It, that's my conclusion of this video. <laughs> Do we need to carry on watching? Compare that to heat pumps and installation is much more affordable and less intrusive to your property. You don't have to dig up your entire garden or invest in extensive retrofitting to accommodate this kind of system. This is the kind of misinformation that just needs to stop. No one is digging up their whole garden and no one is having invasive deep retrofits. I mean, okay, I shouldn't say no one, but 1% of people are. 99% of people won't need any of that and don't go down that path. So this is very disingenuous. Picking on very fringe cases, you're comparing your worst case scenario with a heat pump to a best case scenario with a direct electric heating. I don't buy it. I don't think it's honest to be sharing this kind of content. Now, let's say you've taken the plunge and installed heat pumps in your home. How much does it cost to maintain them? The average lifespan of a heat pump is anywhere between 10 and 25 years with a yearly service needed to keep everything in check. This could set you back about £150 per visit. Electric radiators also last between 10 and 15 years with one key difference. Electric heating requires zero maintenance. With this is something I can get on board with. The heat pump is going to cost you more in maintenance, no doubt, no questions asked, but you're going to save that and then some every single year, every winter you turn on direct electric heating, it's gonna cost you more than the service cost of heat pump by heat pumps by a very long way. Next up, let's take a look at running costs. In theory, heat pumps should be cheaper to run since they take up to 75% of energy from the environment. However, heat pumps are only as effective as your levels of insulation plus the indoor system they're paired with. If you live in a new build with modern radiators, you could see a reduction in running costs. And with superior control options like smart thermostats, there's more clarity and control over your energy usage. However, if you live in a high ceiling period property with 20 year old radiators, your heat pumps will use a lot more electricity to heat your home. In fact, it could cost 40% more than a traditional gas boiler to run if your home is poorly insulated. 
This is rubbish. I don't know who this woman is. I don't know if she writes her own stuff or if she's just a presenter and they're just trying to flog direct electric heaters. Oh my goodness, the misinformation is so frustrating. Just where do I even begin with this? Oh, I just can't. It's too stressful. Maybe this is the last reaction video I do. It's this same old thing that they wheel out, that heat pumps only work in modern, well-insulated buildings. That's just not true. In fact, in many cases, modern buildings have 10 millimeter microbore pipework. They have radiators that are sized just for a boiler perfectly. And in many cases, a lot of new build properties may require more upgrade than some of the older properties where people have already upgraded their glazing, improved the insulation levels over the last 10, 20, 30, 40 years and radiators have been oversized for decades as well. And pipework was typically larger as well. Typically older properties will have 15 millimeter copper pipework and sometimes 22 meter trunk, trunk in pipework, the main lines in it. Um, just, I just don't know where this stuff comes from. Saying that having a period property with a high ceiling is going to cost 40% more than a gas boiler. Based on what? There are no facts that support that claim. The, the heat loss of that property is going to be exactly the same. It doesn't matter what heat source you put in it. Direct electric heating, gas boiler, a heat pump. It's going to, it's going to use the same amount of energy to keep that property warm. And so by putting a heat pump in it that's 400% efficient, you are going to use way less energy than a heat pump, than a gas boiler, or of course, direct electric heating, which will cost you four times as much. So this is just so disingenuous. I just can't even believe that companies are just like, they're bringing themselves into disrepute by spreading this misinformation. Plus, heaters that emit radiant warmth benefit from long-lasting heat even after switch off. You might even find infrared panels or ceramic electric radiators only have to work at a third of their full wattage to produce the same effects as other heaters. I just, I just can't. This is just absolute rubbish. Propaganda, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Electric radiators direct, you're going on the naughty list. So with all that said and done, heat pumps can be a worthy investment as long as you have the space and the means to install them. But for those of us looking for something more affordable and efficient, electric heating is the way to go. False. You cannot, com you cannot claim that direct electric heating is more efficient. Breathe. Even if you had the worst heat pump in the world that was thrown in and was running terribly you'd still get 200% efficiency out of that really rubbish, poorly installed and run heat pump. You're never going to get that out of electric radiators and electric heating. And you will probably have such a reduced cost. There is no planet that we live on that direct electric heating is advantageous over a heat pump. Just because you say things with a smile and you say things with confidence, it doesn't make them true. Electric radiators direct you need to do your homework you need to publish your figures publish how you've come to the how you've arrived at these claims i guess i'm coming for you because the misinformation needs to stop and i guess if i've been nominated by the internet to do it then i need to take this task upon me i have got nothing else to say apart from this video is rubbish you should take it down put this video in the bin it's fake news goodbye Thanks for watching. All the rest of you, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Thanks. Goodbye.